Welcome to the Start Something Show. Join world-renowned experts, change agents, and everyday folks who have done the amazing. All here to help you start something incredible. Now it's time to step out, live your perfect day, and create a legacy with your host, Tina Dietz. Hey, it's Tina Dietz Superstarters. Welcome to the Backstage Pass, and I am just so excited to welcome back Sharon Karn to the Backstage Pass today. We had a blast on her episode of the show. If you haven't seen it yet, definitely go check it out because she brought stuff with her. (laughs) We'll get to that in a minute. Sharon, if you're not familiar with her work from her uh, Start Something Show episode, is the owner and founder of Sound Wellness. And Sound Wellness is all about having programs and tools for people. This is at the forefront of education and how sound and music can be applied to your every day life to make it better. Everything from reducing stress, helping you create concentration and focus, energy, supporting your health, creating deeper healing, moving past the blocks in your life. And Sharon, Sharon's forgotten more about music than most people will ever learn. She is a faculty member and has been for many years at the conservatory at Mount Royal University in Calgary, Alberta, and has a very successful studio practice teaching classical guitar. So um, she's been an author, speaker, musician, recording artist, all of that. And today we're going to take a deeper dive here on the Backstage Pass. Uh, Sharon, thank you for joining me here again. Thank you so much, Tina. This is it was so much fun to be part of the other show. Yeah, I don't. I'm so glad you were able to to uh, to join us here on the backstage pass. And I also understand that you brought some more of your friends, your tools with you for us to um, to talk about today. Um, now we we talked about Tibetan bowls. We talked about uh, and actually got to hear some some tuning forks. All of these are tools to use for different purposes. Before we get to all of that, though, I want to take a couple of steps back and talk with you about the development of sound wellness, because I know so many folks, and I've spoken to so many um, people who are academics, who who are professionals, who are extremely good at what they do, much like yourself, being a faculty member for many years, and they want to bring their message. They want to bring their tools out to a larger audience, kind of come down out of the ivory tower, as we would say in academia. And um, you said that your business had been kind of unexpected. Um, what are what are some of the steps in your journey, some of the, in creating your business that you would recommend that people do if they're looking to start a business? Um, bringing their expertise to the world. Some of the things to get started. Yeah, that's a really good question, Tina, because uh, because I hadn't expected to create sound wellness. It was just something that I, I saw people had really responded so excitedly to what I was sharing with them in that study on stress, that sound wellness as a, as a, a way of expanding what I did in the study was created with really no network, no no research. I just went and registered Sound Wellness and had to start from scratch. Basically, I needed a completely new network in order to share what what Sound Wellness does. So it was trying to figure out, well, where do I start with that? And... What do I offer with that? I expanded everything I did in the study on stress and created a three-day workshop. Well, it started as a one-day, then evolved to a two-day, then a a two-and-a-half, and a a three-day. Now, the three-day workshop is a really good – it's a really good program, especially uh, when you're working with sound because – you're really stimulating overstimulated nervous systems in the first place. So I need to really be very aware of not overstimulating people when we're working with sound. So there's a lot of learning about that and a lot of learning about just what do I do now? And I found um, a lot of the things that I tried to do in the beginning as we were planning and creating, well, what is possible to create with sound wellness is we started with things that were way too much 
to way too much at the beginning without without having a wide a wide network of people who were engaged with sound wellness so it was like i did everything backwards and part of the growth of sound wellness has been going back to the beginning and starting over again with creating what I needed to create to build the community of people who can benefit from sound wellness. So one of them, for example, was was creating a membership site with nobody really engaged in sound wellness and it bombed totally. So it took me a while to kind of go hmm, that didn't work. And then try to figure out how to create those smaller steps to build the business in a more practical way. So if you had to kind of, you know, do it over again, not not from a regretful standpoint, but just from a practical standpoint, um, and, and you were giving some advice to someone who is starting Sound Wellness today, what would you what would you tell them? That would should be maybe the first things to start with. You had mentioned building a community. Yes, and that started with networking in different groups that I hadn't usually connected with. So I did a lot of networking and creating relationships. I also connected with a lot of other women, especially, and some men who had similar businesses to sound wellness they were teaching courses on how how to help people learn how to how to use and teach qigong for example and and other complementary complementary modalities to sound wellness so i created a lot of really good relationships and friends with people who i could connect with who could help me with advice who would who would also we could collaborate with and it's the collaborations that have evolved out of those friendships that have been absolutely huge in in supporting sound wellness in more practical ways besides being so much fun that's brilliant that's brilliant so you know the carp before the horse you didn't you don't you realized it sounds like after a time that the networking was actually more important than in, in terms of development of the business than having a whole bunch of products and a whole bunch of courses and all of that already done. Mm -hmm. And it's like we started with the most complex products without having the, the, the products that supported the, for example, the three day workshop. Now we have been able to backtrack a bit and, and create all of the different experiences and products for people in order to go, Oh my gosh, this is amazing. How can I learn more? And how can I learn more? And how can I learn more? So we have it, we have it in, in better, better, I guess I'm not sure what the right word is, better segments or better, uh, morsels for people to taste. So right, so that people can so. people are can kind of take things uh, course by course, like a meal, mm -hmm. rather than having an entire buffet in front of them and getting overwhelmed by the smorgasbord. Exactly, I gotcha. So yeah, that makes complete sense, and I think really excellent business advice, especially for folks who are like yourself in this space of highly professional, highly creative, um, highly. Uh, driven by a desire to make a difference and discovery and wonder, uh, which are things that I think are missing a lot of times in business for entrepreneurs, but very, very present for practitioners and professionals like yourself. And I love to, so it's great to see the transition between the two. That's very, very empowering. Um, now, going back over to the sound healing side of things, um, Obviously, one of the things that small business owners deal with, like in spades, is stress. So I would love to talk with you some more about sound and how it relates to stress and what can we do about it? That is a really good question because in some of the research I've been doing on stress, it has shocked me, Tina, how much people are willing to put up with when you look at some of the statistics, there one of the figures that was one of the biggest shock factors for me was that from 80 to 90 percent of all doctor's visits are due to conditions caused by stress. 
yet only 3% of those visits were made because the person was concerned about stress. Well, that's an enormous disconnect. That's incredible. I had no idea it was that bad. It's that bad, both in Canada and the States, which is where I've been doing most of the research. The American Psychological Association has now said that stress is the number one health problem. It not only creates it creates a lot of problems at lower levels, but at, at lower levels of symptoms, I should say. Uh, at higher levels, it will even the lower levels of symptoms at, act like amplifiers for other things going on in your lives, emotional problems, high blood pressure, diabetes, all of these things are amplified by being under stress. Wow. Okay. So that's a, an even more enormous problem than I thought. Now, how can we use sound to, to help us with this? Well, one of the most effective ways I found, Tina, and that creates a shift immediately is, is remembering sound goes through your body faster than it goes through the air. Well, there's one sound that's created inside of your body, and that's your voice. And when you think about it, at the speed of sound, which is very fast, the sound of your voice has actually given your entire being a complete sonic massage before the sound even leaves your mouth. A sonic massage. I call it a sonic massage. A sonic massage. Now that can't be bad. All right, let's keep going. What else? <laughs> what else are we doing? Now, um, one, one, another thing that we do all the time that we're not always conscious of is the natural sounds we make with our voice that come from the body. Have you ever said anything like, oh, what a cute puppy? Uh, yes, anytime I'm oh. open Facebook. Yes, pretty much. <laughs> or, ah, oh, that feels good. Or, ooh, isn't that interesting? Or, oh, that's heavy. Moans and groans. These are all natural sounds that come from the body without us consciously making them. And it's interesting, all of these sounds has been found actually stimulates your brain to create, to, to release endorphins and neurochemicals that help you heal or help you manage pain and help you reduce stress coming from emotional energy. And the best sound that does that, we do all the time, is this. <sighs> It's a, a sigh? sigh. A sigh is the body's natural way of releasing excess emotional energy and the stress it brings on. Now, if we do a conscious sigh and vocalize the sigh, knowing what we know about sound is that low sounds tend to discharge excess emotional energy from the nervous system. And that includes the low sounds of your voice. So if you do a vocalized sigh that moves from around the middle of your voice down to the low range, it has enormous effect on reducing stress in seconds. It sounds like this. So this is a, a good way for me then personally to tie in. I always say I'm an Italian grandmother in training, so I can do the Italian grandmother sigh, you know, and then kind of tie this all together and reduce my stress, right? Well, it depends <laughs> on what the Italian grandmother sigh is. <laughs> there are some sighs that go like, oh, oh you know, those yeah. frustrated ones. Yes. And with those ones, remember that your frustration is on the sound that comes out of your mouth. And if you are aiming that frustration at another person, <clears throat> especially if they're empathic, they can take that frustration on. So right. knowing this, uh, for me, became an enormous journey in using my voice in a conscious way. Because not only if I'm making a really frustrated sound, I'm giving my entire being a sonic massage with that frustrated sound. And I'm expressing it. 
and someone else might receive that too because that's going out so that's why i like the vocalized ah it's it's a positive sound that helps that frustration to release a little a little quicker and a little um without that sonic massage from the frustration that's such an important distinction because we've been told so many times in our you know, kind of postmodern, um, you have to express everything uh, mentality uh, that, you know, you got to get you got to get it out of you. You got to get it out of you. And what I think we're seeing here is that you want to move things, maybe move emotional baggage out of you, but in a way that isn't going to, first of all, rebound on you or second of all, uh, end up splotching somebody else with it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And that's a really important distinction, too, because one of the one of the sound healing methods I love to do is is kind of follow it follows along those lines of finding the core of that energy, that emotional energy and expressing it and made doing it in a way that creates a sacred space that doesn't do any harm that moves that emotional energy. Now, it's been found by science that that every emotion has a sound. Every emotion has a sound. They're called scentic forms. If anyone wants to do some of the research behind it, you can, with an S, S-E-N-T-I-C, you can, you can do a Google on scentic forms and come up with the charts on, on how emotions are measured as far as their sound. Now, when you, when you bring that into, into, a way of clearing that emotional energy. Remember how the the soprano breaks the wine glass with her voice? Yeah. She has, in order to break the wine glass, she has to match the sound of that glass. So when you tap a wine glass, you hear its sound. So you have to match that sound with your voice in order to break it. Because remember, sound is a physical energy. It goes through things, including you. And as it's going through you, it's shaking things up. It's pushing the atoms back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Now, if you imagined that emotional energy when your body knows what its sound is and your voice can easily express it, when your voice expresses the sound of that emotional energy, it's shaking it up. And when it gets shaken up, then all of a sudden you find, oh, it's gone. Some of the, we've had people with one man in one of our workshops using this technique. He had pain in his upper back that had been there for 10 years. In five minutes, it was gone. Never came back. Wait, how did he do that? <clears throat> using using the sound of the emotional energy in his in his upper back, we I toned with him, and uh, he made that sound. I toned the sound with him to support shaking up that energy. We just kept making that sound, and then it just left. It dissipated it, and then as part of the process, we make another sound to fill that empty space with light. So that that and there's a several parts of the process I go through as as I do this with a person and teach them how to do it. It's one of the most powerful techniques I have ever found to remove emotional energy. You don't need a story. You just need the sound. You need to vibrate it. Sometimes it might take a little bit longer than five minutes, depending on what it is. Sometimes it might take a few different, a few different occasions of toning for it because some issues have levels. Uh, it's fascinating how brilliantly this technique of using the voice to match an emotional sound is at releasing some of this stuff. Well, and I'm also hearing that you've got, this is a whole diagnostic and treatment process there's actually some experimentation that goes on here and you're really acting as a guide to help people see how to to tune themselves but ultimately it's all about then that person being able to do it themselves that is, that's exactly it i just i just compliment and support the process by helping them with matching that sound uh, in order to support them moving it out it works even over the internet and over the phone i'm just so thrilled and you do <laughs> and you do one-on-one -on -one sessions over the internet right 
Yeah, so this is this I'll, I use this technique a lot on on one-on-one sessions. I love to use Skype so you can see the person and see how the how the how the body is responding to the sound and how it's changing as the sound is le- as the emotion emotional energy is leaving. Wow. Okay, so you um out of everyone I've had on the show so far, Sharon, I have to say I, I'm I'm actually having a little trouble putting sentences together because my mind is whirling right now with the idea that of how powerful I've always known how that sound is super powerful I've been a vocalist since I was a little girl I absolutely love toning and all these other things but to take it to this level is pretty extraordinary and it's very exciting to me what the implications are because I think we spend too much time entirely as human beings talking about things without actually moving through them and to mm-hmm. me, this sounds like a way to to actually move that energy to move through, um, and especially with the physical symptoms that most of us experience with stress, uh, especially as small business owners and wearing many hats and juggling many things. Um, mm-hmm. Just the implication of of how much better life could be. <laughs> I just like, yeah, yeah yeah with with yeah entrepreneurs can, because of all of those hats and and the the physical symptoms of stress start very small so it's really easy to ignore them but there's a point at which at which they become dangerous to you very dangerous to you so it's really important to know what these smaller symptoms are for example for me it's my shoulders get tight this is partly from playing guitar for a while it's it it stresses the shoulders because of the overwork there so when i get stressed it shows in muscle tightness in my neck and shoulders so as soon as i notice that then I go straight into a sound tool or the voice or use them all in combination to reduce that. The tuning forks, the tuning forks are a really brilliant tool for reducing muscle tension due to stress. The overworked mind is another, another symptom of the mind that won't slow down. The Tibetan bowls are really, really helpful for that. And the voice, the, the sigh is also helpful for that. The vocalized sigh. Um, the, uh, the irritation, the emotional stuff that comes up are symptoms of stress. We don't think of them that way, but they are. We have at the bottom, if you scroll down on sound wellness, there's a stress test there with a few questions that takes you maybe one or two minutes to go through and you can find out and this is questions from university university tests on on stress to measure how stressed a person is we took some of the most everyday things put them in the stress test on our site so people can find out what their what their level of stress is and pretty well 90 percent of the people who take that test go oh my god i had no idea that's incredible. And I love that you're taking all of your knowledge and professorial wisdom as being um, in the university and in college system and conservatory for all these years as a musician and applying it and and using it in this way to help people, not just in the classroom or not just help musicians, but everyday people have better lives. I'm just I'm really grateful that you took that unexpected turn in in your in your career (laughs) oh and thank you so much for wording that so brilliantly tina because sometimes i struggle with how do i talk about what i do and you just said it every day helping everyday people have better lives yeah that's that's really what it seems to come down to so now as we're um kind of closing out our, our backstage pass here today um why don't we give our listeners here, our super starter tribe, something that they can try this week, maybe using their voice and to see what a difference that this makes. What's an exercise or something they could they could try doing? Use the ah, the vocalized sigh. Remember to start in the mid-range or high range of the voice and let it drop. Do you want me to demonstrate Let's again? Let's do it together, shall we? Oh, perfect. Okay. Okay. Ready? Okay. You start, I'll follow. Deep breath in. What that 
does is it releases endorphins from the brain that helps reduce emotional stress and reduce and helps the body heal and manage pain. There is another sound you can use. Uh, you mentioned this earlier in the show, Tina. I think it was in in the first show. And it was such an important point. And that point was being in our head so much, especially if you're an entrepreneur and all those hats, we spend so much time in your head. But the truth is that when you're in your, when you're grounded and when you're present, then you step into your greatest work. So one of the sounds that helps you to become grounded and present instantly is the sound ho, H-O. Only you do it like this. Ho. So it's strong and it's like your whole body, your whole body is singing. Right from the diaphragm. Yeah. Right from the belly. Ho. It's immediate presence. It's such a powerful sound. Whenever you find your mind wandering or you're feeling overwhelmed, do an ah and do a ho. And then you should be right back. Do a few of them if you need to. Then you'll be right back. That is awesome. And you know what? I'm going to teach this to my kids. Oh, that would I'm going to be do awesome, this with though. my kids this week because they've been a little stressed out with starting school. And I think mm -hmm. doing a group ah would not only be hilarious and awesome to do as a family, but, um, you know, then they don't have to talk about it. They can just experience the the fun of it and the let their body do its thing. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. And another another thing that people can do if they choose to download the 60 minute to Woodland song track, it's two of the healthiest sounds that there are for the human being. Bubbling water to, to uh, re reduce stress and bird song, which will help the body settle and reduce stress. But it also focuses the mind. So it's really neat to have in the background when you have to work and you have to be really productive. It's, it's a quiet sound that doesn't distract you, that will help you, help you get a lot done in less time. Yeah, and for those of you who didn't get that 60-minute uh, download, which is just brilliant. When Sharon was on uh, the Start Something show, uh, you can go to soundwellness.com slash Tina, or you can just go back to the page for your um, for this recording and we'll have it there. We have it there as well. If you haven't seen it already, highly recommend that you grab that track as well as um, Sharon's other CDs that are just brilliant and they're all laid out on site. You can sample them and do digital downloads or get the actual CDs or whatever you want, as well as all the sound tools. I know that for myself, using the tuning forks to do kind of self-massage and that vibration has been game-changing for me, especially with the tension in my shoulders from working at the computer so much. Um, I have it actually increased the range of motion in my neck. So I can, <laughs> it makes me really, really happy. Really happy. So um, so just as we're closing up here, Sharon, one last thing. What is the legacy you'd like to leave? The legacy is that people become aware of the sounds around them and how they affect them. Because affect you, they do. Beautiful. We'll all take that out into our world this week and bring some consciousness to that so that we can shift it whatever's not serving us yes yeah, yeah. thank you so much again my dear love having you oh, on the show th thank you tina it's just been so awesome okay and i'm going to have you back again so you can bring more tools and i think you know we may have to do a video here too Oh, wouldn't, wouldn't that, that be, be fun? fun? I think that would be a good time. Oh, my goodness. All right. We'll mm -hmm. play with that. And um, by the way, Superstarters, if you want to have uh, Sharon and I do an, a teaching video on some of these sound tools so you can actually see what, what she's doing and how to do that, make sure that you email info at the start something show dot com and say, yes, I'd like to see that because uh, whatever we're here for our membership and what you guys want to see is what we want to create for you. So. Make sure that you let us know if that's something you'd like to do. Sharon, thank you again. Great having you on. And Superstarters, take your size, take your ho, your deep grounding sounds out into the world this week. Try it. Try it every day. See what a difference it makes for you. You have your mission for this week. And we'll see you next week on the Backstage Pass. 